Hey guys, thanks for coming back. And for those of you who are new, thanks for coming. Um, if you're new, then my name is Jessica and I like to create videos that are based on luxury, fashion, makeup, beauty, um, anything kind of in that area. So if that is something you're interested in, then please consider subscribing and go ahead and like this video. Um, as you can tell from the title, today we are doing a Chanel unboxing. So if you are interested in seeing that, then stay tuned. So you guys, I went into the store and got these. I went to the Chanel boutique and got these a little over a week ago, um, about nine days ago. <laughs> and I am just now opening it. Like this is, it's been packaged up like this for that entire time. And I'm just now finally opening them. And I honestly didn't want to open them yet. I wanted to wait, um, but I feel like I want to wear them. So I'm going to open them. Um, and I'll show you guys as I'm talking. Um, so it comes with the bag, of course, the receipt on top. You guys, this was such a strange experience, I will tell you. Um, yeah, I, I will, I'll get into that later. But so this is how it came with the nice bow. I hope you guys can actually see. I wanna make sure you can see everything. But, oh my God, this is my first time unwrapping this. And I was really excited to get these because you guys, I have not seen anyone with these boots at all. Um, and that's part of the reason why I was so excited because you know, I don't, I like to get something that it's like you don't see everywhere. So comes with that, comes with the two dust bags. This is literally my first time opening this box like ever actually, because when I was in the store, I mean, I didn't, I didn't open the box. <laughs> The sales associate opened it up so that I could try them on, but you guys. So I will take one out. These are the boots. Can you see the front, the back? The laces, I just love this boot, honestly. Have you ever seen anyone with these? No, <laughs> like I think everyone was so stuck on the, um, the Chanel 19 boots, right? Those are, are sold out basically everywhere. I'm not sure where, where people are, are getting them when they're, you know, buying them recently. I don't know if maybe they have like a, a personal shopper I really have no idea where people are getting them but they're basically sold out everywhere okay so these are the these are the tags um but yeah so I'm really excited about these you guys why did I get these so I considered getting the Chanel 19 boots um but when I went into the boutique they they didn't have them and I mean I shouldn't have been surprised because they <laughs> they had been out for a while and literally I, I went in just a couple months ago and they didn't have any um I think they I think they had like white or something like that they didn't have black um they didn't have blue which I would have only considered getting black or blue um but yeah I think they had white um and I didn't even bother asking whether they had my size because I knew that's not what I wanted um so yeah that was kind of why when I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, I definitely want them. Um, I think they were, I honestly didn't expect for them to, I didn't expect them to like introduce any new boots, honestly, because these were a part of the Cruise 2021 collection, which, you know, you wouldn't think that they would put like winter boots in that collection. Everything else is like sandals and that kind of stuff. So I was really shocked, number one, when I saw these. Number two, I was like, okay, I want to get these and I want to make sure that, I, that I'm that i able to get them. You know, I want to make sure that they're not um, completely sold out. Um, so what I did was I called, um, there was a sales associate that I met. Um, I think it was, yeah, when I went in to try to get the Chanel 19 boots, which, you know, they didn't have. Um, so she gave me her card. So I texted her asking her 
um, if they could reserve these for me so I could come in and get them. I actually asked her to reserve a size 40 because I had never tried them on before. I'd never tried on a pair of Chanel boots at all before. So I didn't know what size I might need. So I was trying to play it safe. I'm like, let's, I'll do a 40. She's like, we actually did not get in a, a 40. They only got in a couple of sizes. As a matter of fact, when I sent her the picture of them that I got from the website, they didn't even have them in the store yet. Um, it was, I think, like the following day that they got them. And they only got a few sizes, didn't get a size 40. Um, and she's like, well, I can put you on the list um, so, so that when 40 does come in, you'll be, you know, the first on the list. I'm like, okay, well, do you have a 39 and a half? Just, you know, asking because I'm like, I really wanted them. And I'm like, I don't know, the 39 and a half might fit. So, and she's like, yeah, we did get a, th a 39 and a half and we only got one. So I'll put that to the side for you if you want to come in tomorrow and try them on. So that's exactly what I did. I went in and they fit absolutely perfectly. So these definitely fit true to size because I, I am a, a nine and a half. Um, but usually when I when I get shoes, I end up getting a 40 instead of a 39 and a half. But these are a 39 and a half and they fit perfectly. Um, they are not too tight. They're not too big. They're not too wide, not too narrow. They they honestly fit perfectly and they're comfortable. So I am happy that I ended up actually getting these and that I wasn't able to get the Chanel 19 boots because these are actually more my style. Even though the heel is still pretty low, it's it's higher than the Chanel 19 boots, right? Those are like kind of a traditional combat boot. These, these are not, you know, they're shiny. I think that they're a tad bit... Um, more like you can dress them up a tad bit more of course they're still a casual boot but um they're just they're more these are more me right i feel like i feel like i don't know i don't know i feel like the chanel 19s may have just been a little bit more a little bit too casual for me just because they are they are pretty flat um and i do prefer a heel so i love these um what else did i want to tell you guys about these um so like i said they're true to true to size they are $1,375. For some reason, I was charged $1,400. So I was charged $25 more than they actually are. And that was strange. Um, and I honestly didn't notice it until the following day. The following day. Because I, so I went into like Omni app to pay my credit card bill because I don't, I don't like, spending any more than I have to. <laughs> so I, I pay my credit card bills literally in full every time that they come due because I, d I refuse to pay interest on anything. I really, I really do. So I went in the next day just to like, like see, check it out. And I'm like, wait, this is not, this is not what it should have been. I'm like, it seems a little bit higher. It's like 1375 times the, the amount of tax should have been 10.25% and it was higher than that. I'm like, this is weird. So I went and that was the first time I actually looked at the receipt and I'm like, okay, so they charged me 1400 as opposed to 1375. So I'm like, that's weird. Like, I'm like, maybe they changed the price, right? Maybe the price increased from when I, like literally a week ago when I was looking at it. Um, and that wasn't the case. I went online and it was still 1375. So that was weird. So I did call um, the Chanel customer service and they're like, oh yeah, that's odd. So we're going to, you know, email the boutique and see why that happened. So they had not gotten back to me. So I actually called them again this morning and they're like, oh yeah, said the same thing. Oh yeah, that's weird. We're going to get in contact with the boutique. Um, so that's weird, <laughs> but um, I'm still waiting for their response. Um, but yeah, they are thirteen seventy five. Um, I I love them. I just think these are so cute, and I feel like you can wear them with anything. I'm gonna wear them today, and today I just have on like a blazer and some black um, like some black fake leggings that you can't really see. But um, that's what they look like. So you guys, since I have not seen these boots um, on anyone and I've never seen a review of them on YouTube, I wanted to just kind of give you guys a really like thorough look at them in case, you know, anyone is considering getting them just because really I haven't seen any other review on them. So I just want to make sure I'm kind of covering any questions anyone might have. It does have this zipper in here which I think is awesome because you never have to mess with the laces and it is the um 
shiny crumpled goat skin. That's what it's made out of. So hopefully you guys can kind of see everything. I wish the camera would focus. Here's the bottom. These are like actually made for winter. So like I can actually wear these in the snow, which I think is just amazing, honestly. I no longer wanna buy <laughs> shoes that are not comfortable. I really don't. And I love the fact that these are just so multi-purpose. Of course, the other one is exactly the same. And these letters are raised, so. But yeah, I feel like it's a very kind of low key boot, you know what I mean? Like you don't, they're not screaming Chanel at you, which I think, which I like, you know, that's a, that's a personal preference. If the camera can focus, that would be nice. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, that's it. That was my unboxing and my initial thoughts of the lace up boots. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was entertaining and informative. If it was, let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you enjoy this type of content and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.